What's up internet? I'm Manish from rebellionrider.com where we make learning SQL, PLSQL and Oracle database fun. So in the last tutorial we learned about instead of insert trigger. Today we will take a step further and concentrate on the next type of trigger which is instead of update trigger. As this tutorial is in the continuation of the previous one thus I will use both the tables trainer and subject also the view vw underscore rebellion rider which I already created in the last tutorial. Thus I highly encourage you to first watch the previous PL SQL tutorial for better understanding. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Similar to insert operation, the update operation is also not allowed on a non-modifiable view in Oracle database. This is due to the involvement of multiple tables over which your view is created. But this restriction can easily be surpassed using the instead of update triggers. Similar to instead of insert trigger, instead of update trigger will override the default behavior of your update operation when you execute the update statement and will let you update the data of the underlying tables over which your view is created. Let's do the practical. Here is our view. Let's try to write an update DML statement and update some of its data and see what happens. As you can see, when I executed this update statement, I received an error which clearly indicates that this trigger is not modifiable. But we know that using instead of trigger, we can make a non-modifiable view modifiable. So let's write an instead of update trigger on our view and see how we can make almost impossible looking thing possible. But before that, let's close this script output and clear the screen. Great. Now. Let's write our instead of update trigger. So here we have our trigger. The trigger is very similar to the instead of insert trigger which we saw in the previous tutorial except those update DML statements which I suppose are the only things that seem confusing. This is because of new and old specifiers or say pseudo records which I guess we have already discussed in PL SQL tutorial 16. Anyways, let's see these update statements here. These two update statements are updating the respective columns which we specified here. Using first update statement, we are updating full name column of trainer table and using second update statement, we are updating subject name column here. Now, what are these new and old specifiers doing here? The specifier new.fullName will fetch the new data from the update statement which you will execute on this view vw underscore rebellion rider and set that data as the new value of a specified respective column which in case of first update statement is full name and in case of second statement is subject name. Whereas a specifier old let you fetch the data which is already saved into the respective tables and that data will be used by the where clause to find the match. If there is any match then the update statement will execute and update the data otherwise zero rows will be updated. I highly suggest you to watch the PL SQL tutorial 16 there I have explained the use and working of pseudo records in detail. Link is in the description. Let's execute the trigger. Trigger compiles successfully. Now let's try to execute the same update DML once again and see whether this time it will work or we will get the error again. Let's execute this update statement. Update statement has successfully updated the rows where subject is Java without any error. So that's how we create an instead of update trigger in Oracle database. Hope you enjoyed watching. Comment below and let me know how you like this video. I feature the best comment every day on my social media. Next comment can be yours. Also give this video a thumbs up and share it with others on your social. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.